Hey there YouTube, uh, Designs by Zephyr here. Uh, sorry about not putting out a video last week, I've just been pretty busy and stuff and hasn't been able to upload one. So uh, I'm just going to do this one really quick. Um, I had some comments on getting Edit Plus and such, and some, some people want, like, I don't know, I, I don't know if they didn't like it, they just wanted to use other programs as well, like Dreamweaver. Um, you can use Dreamweaver, yes, I don't suggest it though, because you won't get your error log, or I don't believe you'll get your error log, it's just... It's not recommended for um, editing editing Java, but what is a really good one uh, is Edit Plus or is uh, Eclipse. Okay, so you guys can use Eclipse. I didn't teach you Eclipse because Edit Plus is a lot simpler and just it's just a lot easier to wrap your head around Eclipse. It there's a couple different things that you have to do, and it's it's kind of I don't know it's it's a bit harder to get your head around how it works. But uh, you can use Eclipse if you want. There are some other tutorials about Eclipse, but this is just going to be a quick one, just uh, showing you. Eclipse and such. So there's a download link in the description, and once you install it, you're gonna get a little pop-up screen on your window. Uh, not you'll it'll load up like this first. You'll get it all in a file like. Oh, actually, I don't have it on here. But Eclipse can run on the Mac. As just just as a side note, Eclipse was uh, written in. This is Eclipse here, by the way. Eclipse was written in Java, so it it can be run on a Mac or I don't know if it's written for Java or written in C sharp for Mac, but it is it is on a Mac regardless and it is probably one of the most powerful ones. So, as you can see, I am on a Mac here. I'm not on my Windows partition because I reformatted my whole computer. So I lost a lot of stuff, and I just I can't be bothered to uh, reinstall Windows right now. So I might just be teaching you on Mac. It's uh, the same thing. The programs are exactly the same. Eclipse for Windows looks just like this, except you don't have this uh, sexy bar up here. You have the Windows one instead, and you have the file and all that instead of all this. But it is very simple to do. Um, just delete this here. Yes, delete it. Okay, it is very simple to use. Um, so you download the link in the description again. So uh, what we can do here is, as you see, we have all these classes here. Okay, and uh, so they're not all these classes. These are all the programs. Okay, these are not classes the, here. These are the Java projects. And inside the Java projects, we have the SRC and the JRE. Now, if you guys remember from last time, the JRE is the Java Runtime Environment, and it contains all the classes, as you, as you can see right here. It contains all... <laughs> oh, this is going to take a while. It contains all these classes that the people at Sun, I think, have uh, written into it. And if we scroll up, we should see... JOption Pain might be around here somewhere. No, it's not. Uh, JOption Pain is probably in a subfolder of a subfolder of a subfolder, but um, yes. But these are all the classes, as you can see. So there is a bunch of stuff, and that is the JRE. But we don't need to worry about that. That just stays there, just because it stays in the program. We what we worry about is the SRC. Okay. So as you can see in the SRC, we have a default package, and then you have two Java files. Now, this I like. I do like Eclipse because of its organization. When when you first um, load up Eclipse, you'll get you'll get it. It'll ask you to. Uh, to choose a folder or something like that so to, to save all your projects pretty much to save all of these and uh, the folder that I chose is right here okay so we if I navigate to it users designs by Zephyr school object oriented programming you'll see all of these here okay so those are all of these and this one can go to the garbage okay so you will see all of those and uh, it's pretty pretty basic pretty simple to do um, not that hard to set up. So just click on click on a folder that you feel like saving everything to. You can name a make a folder on your desktop called Java um, and save everything in there. You can you can do whatever you want. But oops, in that folder we have you will see two different things. Okay, oops, you will see the bin and the SRC. Now if we go into here, actually let me just do this. Haha. <laughs> see Max can do this too now. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, um, not gonna get into that debate here. You'll see the bin in the SRC, so we have the SRC here. And remember, the SRC contains our Java files. So if we go into the SRC here, it should have our Java files, which it does. Now, but then what's in the bin? Well, the bin contains the class files, and that's that's after you uh, decompile and run it, or compile and run it, which is this button here. Okay, so those are the class files that you can, that you can link to and do whatever to, or we could just run them like this if I run it. It'll open my calculator class, which was just a pretty basic call. It was, um, yes, they are just numbers and stuff, but it is, it was calling different classes and just some editing like that. Um, so that's, that's that. Um, now I'll show you again how to do the hello world. Okay. So if, if you've already done this, you can just end it and the, um, 
end the video here, but I'm just going to show you again the Hello YouTube, and I'm going to show you uh, in in Eclipse and some different some different things about Hello Hello YouTube. I'll do. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new new project. So we want a new project here. So we're going to go File New Java Project. Okay, and then this dialog will pop up saying project name. So we're just going to say Hello YouTube. Okay, then just hit Enter. Make sure those settings were the same as well. That's well, they're my settings, but you can have them whatever you want. But make sure that you know how to use the settings. Now to create a class, as you'll see, we have no class. We have we have the SRC, but you can't you can't make a drop down. So we can either click on this button here, which would create the class for us, okay? Or we can right click on the SRC, new class. Either or. And we're going to name this one Hello YouTube. And hit enter. Now right away, as you can see, it already creates the um, the class right here. So we don't have to worry about the file name. That, that's another reason why I like Eclipse, and because of the error logging. So what we're going to do first off is we're going to import um, the J option pane, and as you will see, it comes up with a pop-up like this, which is also very nice. Now it's going to have a warning on some things. As you see, the import is never used. That's just because we haven't used it yet. It, it Eclipse is very in depth with its with its warnings and its its errors. Okay, some errors might actually not be errors. They just might be um, like it could just be a writing some a writing preference or just a, just a way that you're writing as you'll see later. But uh, that that is another reason why we were using Edit Plus just so you can use debug it and stuff yourself and try to learn how to debug yourself. But this this one shows you right away. So this is where all the errors will pop up in. And you may not have this number line thing here. If you want that, just right click show number line okay pretty simple um, so then we're going to do we're gonna make the public or the uh, main method okay oops can't spell today and then string arguments okay now do you see we're gonna get an error here because I haven't spelled string right okay lovely <laughs> there we go Sorry about that. And as you can see, um, if you when you do after our next lesson, we're going to be learning about instance variables and methods. Okay, <clears throat> as you'll see, this is a method right here. This is what a method is. But in Eclipse, what you can do is you can minimize them. So if you have multiple e methods and stuff, you can just minimize it, and then you can continue and make another method here and make another method after that. It's just it's just a simple way so you can look at everything. Okay, so in our main method, we're going to create the new object J option pane. Uh, spelling option pane and then we're gonna name it so we're gonna name it my IO so we're gonna link J option pane to my IO equals a new instance of J option pane bracket bracket semicolon okay we're gonna get another error because we're not using this as you can see it's never read but we did but this one goes away because now we are using J option pane now this line we're gonna get an error on and I'll, I'll explain that in a minute but what you do is we're going to create the object or we're going to create we're going to create a pop-up box from type j option pane so we're going to link it with my io because my io we named j option pane my io it's pretty much what that is it's renaming j option pane so my io dot show lag message dialog okay and then this is going to be null remember and then the message will be Hello YouTube, and then stop it. Now, as you see, we get an error here. Okay, why is this? It's saying the static method show method dialog from type J option pane should be accessed in a static way. What that means is, see how we created the object here and we named it J option pane, or we named it my IO, and then we called my IO. That step, this step right here, is kind of redundant. We don't need to do that technically. However, I do suggest you do just to get into the habit of of um, just to get into the the mindset where you're creating an object and then you're calling the object and as you'll see if we run it it still will run okay it will run and it will say hello YouTube see as you see however there is a shortcut that we can do we can do reduce these two lines of code to one line simply we don't need this line so we're just gonna remove it and this line we can just say J option pane dot show message dialog we won't get an error what are we getting though no, oh, that doesn't matter. We we won't get an error or anything. We we shouldn't. I don't know why it's giving us this one. Maybe it's just because of the autofill that I did. Um. No, 
not too sure why this is little popping up, but it still does run. So you can you can use that shortcut like this, okay? And as you'll see, if we run it, it will still pop up. So either way, whichever way you feel comfortable, um, I suggest doing it the first way. Oops. That way. I suggest doing it like this until you get until you really wrap your head around the mindset that this is that you're creating the object in this line and in this line you're calling my o from J option pane or like fr from this this object if you get what I mean so you're creating the object here and you're calling the object here just just so you can get in that mindset and then after you get in that mindset for a while then you can start putting changing my IO to J option pane um, I'm also gonna start describing an UML diagram. It's pretty simple, pretty simple concept. As you see, we have our method here. Okay, this is kind of going into the next lesson, but I'll, I'll explain it more in here. If we down click here, we'll see the class, and then in the class, we'll have our UML diagram. And our UML diagram is all of the instance variables and methods, which you'll learn about ne next class. Um, what these are is if I were to have here public int, and I'm gonna set a variable variable one as you'll see now I have variable one here and it's saying this is an instance variable this is what an instance variable is okay you'll learn about that next lesson what it is and what you can do with it um, you can also have instance variables in here or variables in there sorry um, and this is your methods so it, it does show your it, it's a condensed version of your program without any actual coding in it so it's just saying variable one okay and you can click it and go to it main okay this is main it's it's a very simple concept. It's nothing too big to stress your head around if you don't understand, but that's that. So uh, look forward to the next video. Um, it should be coming up very soon. Actually, probably I'm going to record it right now. So uh, I shall see you guys later.